Hi, today I am going to explain you about the mass transaction and mass deletion of purchase requisition. Mass transaction will be used to update some specific changes in the multiple purchasing documents. Suppose we are having 10 purchase requisitions and we want to change the purchasing group of all the purchase requisitions. Then we can use mass transaction to just update the purchasing group in all the purchasing documents at a single shot. The object type for purchase requisition is BUS2105. So every document type is, it is having its own object type. So today we are going to cover the purchase requisition. So the object type for that is BUS2105. In the second step, we are going to use the deletion indicator field, which is not available in the standard object type BUS2105. So we are going to use one another transaction MASSOBJ wherein we are going to add the deletion indicator field in this particular object type. Then we are going to delete the specific number of purchase requisition with the help of transaction mass. So first of all, we have to create few purchase requisitions so i am going to create my first purchase requisition the transaction code for creating a purchase requisition is me51n we will be using the standard document type nb while creating the purchase requisition and um, document overview of I have to, I have already selected the NB document type. In material, I am going to use 100-110 material. And in plant, I am using 100 plant. After entering these two data, we have to press enter. Then system will fetch the relevant details from the material master data for the specific plant. Like in this case, the short text, the unit of measurement, the material group, and the storage location and the purchasing group. It has been fetched from the material master data. Now we have to put the quantity. I put 100 as quantity. Then we have to click on check then system is going to propose you if any errors are there so there are no errors so we are going to save this purchase requisition and we can see that our purchase document number is 1001420 then i am going to create few more purchase requisition with the same parameters so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the document overview on feature. Once you click on document overview on, then system is going to show you one report format wherein you have to select my purchase requisition. And we can see the purchase requisition which we have just created. It is available at the top. I'm selecting this and I'm dragging it to the shopping cart option Then system will fetch the complete data from this requisition and directly we have to save it Then system will be generating one more purchase requisition number. You can see at the bottom that 14221 has been created. Again, I'm going to copy this one into this shopping cart and I will be saving one more purchase requisition for our testing purpose. Then system will be generating one more purchase requisition. Now we are having three purchase requisition which we have created just now. So 
our next step is to go to transaction mass now system is asking you the object type as i have already explained you in my presentation that the object type for purchase requisition is bus2105 so we have to put bus2105 once you press enter then system will show you the description of that which is showing it is purchase requisition then we have to click on execute now system is showing you one two tabs one is table second one is fields in tables tab system is showing you the tables relevant for purchase requisition in this case there is only one table eban we have to select this line then we have to click on execute then we have to put our purchase requisition numbers so in our case we have created three purchase requisition so i am going to select all the three 2021 and 22 so after entering the purchase requisition data we have to click on execute now you can see at the bottom system is going to show you all the three purchase requisition with the line item details and the short text details now after this the field which we have to change for all the three purchase requisition we have to select it from the select fields option let me show you the purchasing group for all the three purchase requisition at this moment so we are going to the to the table level the table name is eban in eban we have to put all the three purchase requisition I am just pasting it the purchase requisition number in Banfan field and I am executing this. Now we can see that all the purchase requisition is having the purchasing group as 001 which you can see over here ekgrp field in ekgrp field all the per three purchase location is having the same value 001 so from the let me go back to the mass transaction again so in this we have to select the field from this option of purchasing group because we are going to change the purchasing group from 001 to some other purchasing group the system will show you all the relevant fields which you can change on the right hand side so we have to select our respective field so we will be searching for purchasing group so purchasing group is available over here that we have to drag it to the left hand side by clicking on this left arrow icon then we have to click on enter now system is showing you that all the three purchase requisition is having the data 001 and here you have to put the new values system is showing you that you can change it from 001 to some other value so here we are going to select some other value so at this moment i am changing it to 008 we have to select one column the column in which we have to change the values we have to select that column and then we have to click on carry out a mass change so i'm clicking on this now you can see that 001 has been replaced by 008 then we have to save the values now our system is going to propose you one warning which you have to which you can bypass 
after pressing enter you can see the system is going to show you the results whether the changes has been done or not so after pressing save system will show you the results like changes have been saved now we are going back first of all we are going to check the purchase requisition in me53 in end transaction which is the display purchase requisition so in this transaction we are going to check only one particular purchase requisition 1001420 and we are going to check that the purchasing group has been changed or not we can see that purchasing group has been changed earlier it was 001 now it is showing 008 so now we are going to look at the table level as well so we are going to the table level as of now it is showing 001 in all the three purchase requisition i am going to refresh the data now system is showing us 008 so this is all about the mass change of purchase requisition and in our next step what i am going to show you that there is one option of deleting the purchase requisition so in all the purchase requisition we are having one option of deleting it we can see that if we are going to select this line and if we are going to click on this line delete then this line item will be deleted as you can see right now that it is getting deleted with this deletion indicator okay so we can undelete as well we have to select the line and we have to and delete it then after undeleting we have to again save it so we are having this feature of deleting now in the mass deletion we are supposed to delete the line items of specific purchase requisition by mass transaction so what i am going to show you today in mass transaction for this particular object if we are going to execute it if we, are, if we are going to select this one if we are going to execute this one suppose i am putting my only one purchase requisition we are going to execute this then we are going to select the field for deletion indicator we can see that there is no deletion indicator field available in the right hand side fields so what we have to do we have to enter we have to append the table with this particular field the field name for the deletion indicator is iban l o e k z the field name is l o e k z so we have to use the m a s s o b j transaction to add the deletion indicator field so let me show you how to do this we have to open the transaction mass obj we have to use the transaction mass obj to enter the deletion indicator field in object bus2105 so i am going to show you this in a different line that how to add this we have to select our object type bus2105 then we have to click on application tables then we have to click on our object type again then we have to click on field list once you click on field list then we will we will be having one option of creating a new entry after creating the new entry we have to do the entries for l o e k z field like this so once you enter these fields over here then once you go back again to the mass transaction then you can see that 
this particular deletion indicator field is available in BUS2105 object type. I am clicking this. I am going to again select our purchase requisition. Then we have to click on execute. After clicking on execute, suppose I am putting any purchase requisition number. Then I am going to again click on this. Then when we have to change the deletion indicator field, then we have to click on select fields. And once we click on select fields, then we can see on the right hand side the deletion indicator field is available. So we have to take it on the left. Then we have to click on enter. Then the same values which I have shown you earlier like you have to put the values, the new values, then you have to select the column and then you have to click on carry out mass change. So this is a very simple process to add the deletion indicator field in object type BUS2105 and carrying out the mass change for deleting multiple purchase requisition at a single shop. Thank you very much.